episode of Car Wrecks. Um, maybe I need to come up with a fancy title or, or series for these car wrecks because they're going to be about everything. Um, uh, back in the day, I told you guys that one of my subscribers or supporters sent me a whole list of topics to talk about, but it's like I never went back to that list. So I'm like, I might as well make them into car rings. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about blackout days. Because I know in upcoming videos, I'm going to be talking a lot about those days. And I never really, I, I don't want to like just throw it on you without actually telling you what they are. So my blackout days are basically days. That I've been t that I'm going to take off each month. It could be anywhere from two or three days to um, one day per month. But I know majority of them are going to be like on major holidays or uh, ho or days that I feel like I need that day out. Especially when it comes to my grandma's birthday. I know that is a blackout day. So, anyways. Blackout days is the days where I reset mentally, financially, physically, emotionally, uh, everything. Don't think about nothing, just depressed, if that makes sense. Like, um, just let everything go that I've been going through throughout the, the week or throughout the month. Just let it go. I came up with these days because I noticed, like, if I go a whole week, and then, like, probably two days after that week has went by, I feel like I'm very overwhelmed. So, um, yeah, I just want to take that day off, especially since I'm trying to go ahead and tighten up ends on my business. Also, I'm trying to tighten ends up on my financial situations and, and just be debt-free and all this stuff. And, and work and school and all this stuff thank god graduation right around the corner but yeah i need that stress relief day and that is a big reason why i came up with blackout days now mind you guys i do the majority of my cooking like midnight between midnight and 3 a.m and it works for me now that i know that it works for me and it cleans me spiritually majority spiritually because I feel like I've been dealing with a lot of trauma at work and all that stuff so I feel like around these times it works for me so I'm going to continue doing that um, I only do it on days where I either work later in the day or um, I'm off work or I don't have any more school work to do so yeah um what else I want to tell you guys about these days? The reason why I really came up with these days is because basically for the mentally clarity. Um, because I know like throughout the week I think about a lot of stuff, I do a lot of stuff, I have a lot of numbers in my head, all this stuff. So I'm like, my reset days, me just sitting back watching movies, uh, thinking about other stuff, thinking about fun stuff, spending time with my family, spending time with my friends. Um, because I noticed I really don't spend time with my friends no more like I used to so I'm going to go back to that okay I'm going to go back to that because I feel like I need that so yeah um, I think that's all I want to say about that because yeah but I do want to go ahead and have where well, you guys can talk to me and some questions and all those things and videos and stuff so the question today is, I really don't know the question. I wish it was back in the day, like when you want to vote for somebody. I remember back in the day, they used to come to your house and, and, and tell you about themselves and what they running for and what they stay, and what their campaign stand for and all this stuff. Nowadays, they just put signs up on the road and you ain't never seen these people a day in your life. Or you don't even know they was running until you go to the, the polls and vote for them. And I really don't like to vote for people I really haven't had the chance to do research on. Or a person that I really, that really haven't stepped out and greeted their selves to the community. I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. 
even when it comes to president, presidents and senators and, and the government, I don't like to vote for people that I really haven't got the chance to do research on or understand what their campaign is about. So maybe they're just me. I don't know, but they're just the way I am. Um, not saying that I don't vote, but honestly, I do a little research before I vote the next day. But to me, it's like, it's weird. Like, I'm used to people coming to the house and, hey, would you vote for me? This is what I stand for. Just a little bit about me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I miss those days. And I know somebody going to say, well, it's not like that because you can go on the internet, go on Facebook, go on Instagram. I don't like that. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't like that. <laughs> my, majority of people my age probably would, but I don't like that. Like, I, I need that. I need that one-on-one or that TV, uh, that TV, this is who I am person. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, I digress. It's time for me to end this video because I'm almost at work again. And I'll see you guys on Friday because that's the next day I work. So I'll see you guys on Friday. Um, and yeah, it'll be a new topic, a new day, and a new episode. Bye, guys.